15 minutes more. Okay, uh, take a look at the screen here. Uh, Chandani, can you give me your first two notes for your help? Wait, this is the one I'm sorry? Okay, how about the next one? F sharp and D sharp. Okay. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, what, can you give me one? For the treble? Sure. Um, let me see if I can move this down. A flat and. G. All right. Uh, Akaja, give me two notes. Um. G and G and. G and what? Sorry. Uh, B. D? Okay. All right. Farzana? H flat, D. A flat and what? E flat and D flat. E flat? C flat. E flat and C flat? Yes. What's on the bottom? Uh, C flat. C flat. Okay. Good. Adrian? Okay. And Colin? B and B. B as a door. Uh huh. And then B. And B. Yes. Okay. Let's just take a look at these uh, six right here. And a caveat here some of the notes uh, that you've written down uh, would need to be thought of differently. But in general, I'm trying to ask you to figure out what most of the, these notes are, how they are related, okay? So first of all, these are all intervals. Um, they're all two notes each. Uh, what, what can we say about how the top note is related to the bottom note? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, Devar. They're on the major scale. Okay, uh, can you give me an example? The, so for the first one, the one yeah. all the way to the left, yeah. that has um, F sharp, mm -hmm. and it has um, A sharp, uh, D sharp, I'm D, sorry. Excellent. D sharp. Okay. Good. Um, on the major scale, those would be the, 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 the F. Hold on. Which major scale? F major scale. F, F sharp. Sharp major scale. Okay, keep going. Those those are on the those are on the scale. Okay, those are notes found in the F sharp major scale. Yes. Okay. Is this consistent with the second one? Uh, well, first of all, let me come back. What did Jabari describe? Can you restate what he said? These are on the F major F sharp major scale. Okay, so these two notes are on an F sharp major scale. Excellent. Now, of these two notes, how would you describe the F sharp here? Lower than that. Lower. Excellent. <coughs> Making a really huge deal here. So I hope you, you appreciate that. Okay. So Jabari said that both of these notes are built on F sharp, on F sharp major scale. Why are we talking about the F sharp? It's because it's the lower note. Okay? Okay. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have what notes? Liana, what are the notes here? Sorry, point two here? Uh, the second pair. Oh, that's yeah. um, <clears throat> A flat and G. A flat and G. Okay. So uh, does what Jabari is talking about make sense here as well? No. You're shaking your head why? Because the 
Sure. So it would not be found in F sharp major scale? Ah, okay. So these two notes are not found in the F sharp major scale. Okay. Uh, that's true. Jabari, is that what you mean? That all of these no. What do you mean? Can you explain more? I, so for 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 that specific one, it was not for the, the, the previous one, the one that I was talking about, yeah. That one is that starts the the keynote or the the, the the key the keynote for that one is F sharp so that's in the F sharp scale for the other uh -huh. one it would be A flat because that's that's the the start of the scale going back to what Stephanie said how is A how would you describe A flat in the context the of these two notes? notes it's the lower note okay so if I name these two notes A flat and G okay A flat is the lower note if I'm applying what Jabari is talking about here to say whether or not these two notes are part of the scale built on the lower note, okay, Liana, if we talk about that, then the question becomes what? The between right, so the question I would ask is, is G, G and A part of the... A plus. Okay, is that true? Yeah. Yes. Okay, it is. Okay, so G... It's part of the A5 major scale. Okay. Here's another one. Okay. This is all trouble cuff right now. Okay. Um, William, what are what are the notes here? D. D. I mean G. G and G. G and G. Okay. Uh, does what does the Jabari rule here also check out? Yes. Yes. How? The question I would ask is, what is D. D. Well, I mean, G is always going to be part of the G major scale, right? So the question I'm asking is, is D part of the G major scale? Is that true, William? Okay. What we are talking about here, okay, these are all um, called diatonic intervals. Diatonic meaning that these intervals, again, these are uh, two notes we're talking about. The top note, doesn't matter what something's in front or behind, whether a note comes in before or after. What we're asking ourselves here, it's a very important thing that Stephanie um, uh, happened upon here, is that we're looking at the bottom note. Okay? There will always be a note that's on the bottom, except for a unison. Right? If you have two notes at the same level, same pitch. Okay? Aside from that, there will always be a note that's lower. Okay? We're looking at whether or not the top note okay, is part of the major scale built on the bottom note. Whether D sharp is part of the F sharp major scale. Whether G is part of the A flat major scale. Whether D is part of the G major scale. Okay, going one thing further, um, here, okay. um, going back to the first exercise, okay, how would you describe the size of the first interval here? What's the size? How would you figure that out? Lewis, how would you figure out the size here? You count from the notes. Okay, so what, how would you count? So one, one two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's a sixth. Okay, if it's a diatonic interval, and that's a six, okay, we call it a major six. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, we move on here to this one, these two notes, okay. Um, Nathaniel, what are, uh, what's the size of this interval? Five, so we call it a fifth, okay. Since it's a diatonic interval, it's called a perfect fifth. Okay. Now, uh, thank you. Why did I just put this claw? Okay. It's on the floor. Oh. Look right there. Oh, there you go. Okay. I thought I was going crazy. Okay. So, ah, I'll use it here. So for diatonic intervals, that is to say, the top note is found in the major scale built on the bottom note. If the interval is one unison, four, five, or eight, okay, 
these are, we'll call them perfect intervals. So perfect unison, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and perfect octave. Not eighth, even though that's in the exercise, I know, but say octave. Okay? If uh, the interval size is, I'm going to use a different color, um, a second, a third, um, a sixth or a seventh, if it's diatonic, we call them major intervals. Okay. To recap here, if I'm looking at two notes, okay, I'm trying to figure out the interval, how we how we describe this interval between these two notes. First, I'm looking at well, I'm looking at the size. Okay, that's easy, um, and I'm just counting, counting the bottom note. Uh, as one, one, two, three. So regardless, I know that this is going to be some kind of a third. Okay. The next thing I'm doing is looking, taking a look at whether the top note is part of the major scale built on the bottom note. Okay, what's the bottom note here? When clef? C. C. Flat. flat. The flat's a little uh, wonky, but you can see it. Okay, C flat. Is E flat part of the C flat major scale? Stephen's nodding. William's nodding. E flat is part of the C flat major scale. Right. So here, uh, this is a diatonic third, which means uh, what's the final quality that we're going to add? M. M. Big M, because there will also be a little M next week. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is a major third, okay? Um, so with that in mind, go back to this exercise uh, on number, number two, I think, is what you're working on here, okay? And see if now using that information, see if you bless you, figure out the correct answer without revealing the answer, okay? Go, talk about it. All right, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 <la